like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. There are over 600 horse breeds in the world today, and although all are pretty in their own way, there are certain beautiful breeds that capture the human imagination. From the oldest horse ever to the rarest breed in the world, here are 10 horse breeds that will make you want to own one. Number 10. The Black Forest The Black Forest Horse of Germany is certainly one of those horse breeds that you cannot resist admiring. It's characterized by the dense golden mane that pops against the the rich chestnut color of their coat. The working horse breed might be endangered now, but the people of Germany have relied on these horses for nearly 600 years. In the region now known as the Baden-Württemberg, the Black Forest horse have been documented as early as the 15th century. These cold-blooded horses might not be as powerful as your giant draft horse breeds, but they are tough and strong and full of might. As of 2017, it was recorded that there was a population of 80 Eight stallions and 1,077 mares. Thankfully, these horses are reported to have a high fertility rate, and through careful breeding, there are hopes to see those numbers increase in the near future. Many individuals are dedicated to growing the breed's numbers, so they will never become a thing of the past. Number 9. The Mowari Horse The Mowari or Milani horse has its roots in the Indian region of Marwar, hence the name. It's extremely rare. That's probably why you've never heard of it. Generally, it exhibits the same colors common to equines, but most horse buyers who seek this breed go for those with skew-bald and piebald coats. There is quite a wide variation here, though. For instance, the most valuable horses are gray, while white ones are bred for their religious significance. Black horses are always avoided since the color symbolizes death and darkness. One physical feature that sets a apart from other breeds is that inward curving ear. But among horses, enthusiasts, it is prized for its hardiness, making it quite an easy keeper. The Mawari was born out of crossing native Indian ponies and Arabian horses. These horses usually have an average height of between 58 and 62 inches, although this will vary considerably depending on the region. They tend to have slender legs and small hooves. Number 8. The Akaltiki Horse A shiny coat is one way to stick out on the animal kingdom, and the Akaltiki is famed for having the sleekest of it all. The Akaltiki is endemic to Turkmenistan, Central Asia. The horse is considered to be one of the oldest breeds around, although its origin is not so clear, with several theories flying around. Some sources claim that the breed is a descendant of an older breed called the Turkoman horse. Others maintain that the Turkoman and the Akaltiki are just the same horses with different names. Members of this breed are famed for their speed, endurance, and intelligence. Attractive to horse enthusiasts also is that they're generally a tolerant lot, being able to withstand severe climate conditions. They're also aesthetically pleasing, owing to the metallic sheen they sport. This has earned them the nickname Golden Horses. According to statistics, there are about 6,000 of these horses around the world, with a good number of them being in Turkmenistan and Russia. Besides the two countries, you're also sure to get them throughout North America and Europe. On average, Akaltiki has a height of between 58 and 64 inches. This breed can be used in a variety of ways, owing to its natural athletic form. It can come in handy in sports such as dressage, endurance riding, show jumping, racing, eventing, and it's more than just another horse. It appears on the coat of arms of Turkmenistan and stamps of Azerbaijan and the USSR. Number 7. The Exmoor Pony The Exmoor Pony is Britain's oldest breed of native pony. They have adapted to survive in low-quality moorland grazing and can make good all-around family ponies capable of carrying adults but some have been known for having quirky temperaments. Exmoor ponies are fast learners, and they enjoy working. They are also considered kind, even-tempered, smart, and alert animals that get along well with everyone, including children and adults. These small, hardy horses are native to southwest England's moors or grasslands. This stocky breed has adaptations that allow it to thrive in wet places, including a toad eye with extra fleshy eyes eyelids that help deflect water. In winter, 
this hardy breed grows a long two-layer coat with a warm woolly underlayer and a shaggy top coat that combine to repel the cold. In the 1950s, the first Exmoor ponies were imported into North America. Today, it is considered a rare and endangered equine breed, as it is believed that there are only 800 of these ponies left around the world. Number 6. The Gypsy Vanner The Gypsy Vanner is a horse of many names. It's also known as the Gypsy Cob, the Gypsy Horse, the traditional Gypsy Cob, and the Irish Cob. As you can guess from all of these names, it's endemic to the islands of Ireland. It is a generally small horse, but with a solid build. For most of these Gypsy horses, the coat is either piebald or skewbald. A unique characteristic of the Gypsy Vanner is the presence of long hair on the lower legs, a trait called feathering. The breed has been used since the 1850s in the British Isles. It was used as a draft horse pulling vardos, which are both wagons and places of dwellings. General characteristics of the horse are defined according to the breeding standards of different breed societies. Number 5. The Norwegian Fjord The Norwegian Fjord is considered one of the oldest pure breeds of horses. It is believed that the original Fjord horse migrated to Norway and was domesticated over 4,000 years ago. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Fjord horse has been selectively bred for over 2,000 years, first by the Vikings around 12,000 BC. Runestone carvings in Norway, many of fighting stallions, show images of horses recognizable as fjords. The Vikings took their fjords, which they used as war mounts, in their travels to Scotland, Iceland, and elsewhere. In these lands, the fjord influenced the Highland Pony and the Icelandic horse. From various war horses to docile farmer helpers, the fjord evolved into working farm horses for Norwegian farmers in the mountainous western district of Vestlandet. Working on the hillside farms, the fjord became sure-footed, agile, thrifty, and hard-working, qualities they maintain to this day. The outside hairs are cream-colored with dark brown or black inner streaks. The mane naturally grows long, but owners often cut it short to stand on end and emphasize the two-tone coloration as it's also an undersized working horse with the strength and musculature, but not the tall stature of other draft horses. Number 4. The Arabian Horse Did you know that every single horse breed on Earth can be traced back to an Arabian horse? The origins of the Arabian Horse date back to as far as 3000 BC, which places it amongst the most ancient breeds in the wild. Though, to be the truest horse breed of all, these stunning horses are known for their striking and distinctive features. Those who own one of these horses can tell you just how special they truly are. Centuries of close interaction with humans have helped develop these horses into one of the most social horse breeds. Number 3. Camarouge Horse Camarouge Horse are one of the oldest breeds famed for their white coat and semi-feral existence in the marshes of Camarouge region in southern France. The romantic image of a band of these horses galloping through the water is so iconic that photographers and wildlife lovers also book sightings tours to experience it in person. I mean, you would be hard-pressed not to believe that you died and went to heaven if you suddenly woke up in the countryside and a herd of these beautiful creatures just passed you by. Farmers most often use them as cow horses. They also like to be paraded by their owners during equestrian events. And I bet you would die of excitement seeing these magnificent horses being paraded at an exhibition, especially at full-grown stallion. Number 2. Falabella Pony Falabella's are the first miniature horse breeds. These are the only pure breed mini in the world. Their body size are maximum of about 8 hands. But even being miniature, these are not ponies. These are originated in the harsh climates of Argentina. They are sought after by nobility for their unique features. These are good-natured and intelligent horses. These are strong and hardy despite their size. Very little care is required when they are getting adapted to their harsh weather conditions. These are used for in-hand riding, horse shows, driving, and even in kids' birthday parties. Their current population is less than 2,000 around the world. They can live up to 45 years of age. These are the longest living horses on earth, which is probably due to the full-sized heart and small stature. Number 1. Dutch Warm Blood The Dutch Warm Blood horse is an incredible sport horse 
course often used in equestrian events like dressage, jumping, driving, and more. It is athletic, reliable, and has a more friendly temperament. They have earned the name warm blood because they are a healthy mix of the calm nature of cold-blooded draft horses and are spirited like the hot-blooded Arabian horse. Dutch warm bloods have powerful legs and prominent withers which make them excellent for jumping. They are also popular in hunter competitions. They make dependable recreational horses as they are easy to work with, irrespective of their rider's experience. Which one of these horse breeds did you like the most? Let us know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share with all of your friends. Subscribe to our channel as well. See you in the next one.